Okay, so we're going to look at four different areas where our non-playing hand on the serve has a, an important job to do in order to make the serve effective. Okay, so obviously number one is very, very simple, whereby it's obviously a ball placement arm. That's the most obvious one. So when we place the ball up, obviously our non-playing arm has a job to do, which is to place the ball up. Okay, but from there on, Sometimes the, 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 the importance of the, the, of the non-playing arm can sort of get lost just within the serve. Okay, so if we, look at, if we look at placing the ball up, what's really, really important now is that we really get a full extension. And you can see my arm has probably gone past a neutral position, which sometimes can get lost um, in the technique of a serve. So it's really, really important we get that arm going up to place the ball, but fully extending past that neutral position so that we're now creating a stretch down our non-playing side of our body, okay? So we're creating a stretch down here, which is gonna really help us get some more power into the serve, okay? So the second part of it is, after the ball placement, we get that full stretch, okay? Then from that position, that's gonna encourage our playing side, our racket side, to come up and over into the contact point. So as that is happening, what we want to feel that our non-playing arm is doing, the third point, is that the non-playing arm now is going to come into the body to help create more rotational speed into the serve. Okay, so it's basically ball placement, fully extended past the neutral position to get the stretch. As we're now starting to throw that racket head up, we're looking to bring the arm into the body to help create more rotation, more speed in that rotation. But of course, as tennis players, when we hit the ball, we don't want to keep rotating too much. So what happens right at the end, the fourth part, is that the, the arm is coming out of the body to help slow that rotation down. Okay, so we're going to go point one is ball placement. Point do, two is the, is the fully extend and stretch. Point three is making sure that when the arm comes down, the arm is in the body more. Point four is the arm coming out.